Now let's look at advanced object selection and addition using Fuser's object filter system. Objects can be sorted into your schedule tasks in two ways, either directly using the in-task filter or indirectly using the construction filter manager. In this tutorial we will be looking at the construction filter manager. To access the construction filter manager, navigate to the construction filter manager tab. Here you will see two columns, the Filter column and the Rules column. To create a filter, click the plus sign below the Filter column. A new filter will appear. If you so desire, double-click on the Name field of your filter to change that filter's name. Click the plus sign below the Rules column to add a rule. The Rules dialog box will appear to the right of the Rules column. Fuser filters by Document, Custom Construction Zones, Level, Category, and Custom Parameters. We will cover Construction Zones in the following tutorial. To filter by document, select the Document Radial button. Check the box by each document you wish to filter by and click Apply. Repeat this procedure to filter by level and category. Be sure to click Apply for each radial button grouping. Fuser will only create a rule for one radial button at a time. To filter by parameter, click on the Parameter Radial button. Here you will see three fields. The Filter By field, the Operator Selector, and the Value field. To locate your filter criteria, select an object. The Element Properties window will appear on the right. Scroll through your element properties to locate the criteria you wish to filter by. Once you have located your criteria, type the value into the Filter By field. Please note that the filter is case sensitive. In the Operator selector, choose your parameter operator. Select Equal To if you are filtering by a name or a text string. In the Value field, type your filter value, then click Apply. Numeric values must be entered in decimal format without units or symbols. When you are finished adding rules, click the Close button to close the Rules dialog box. Now that your filter is created, click the Highlight button to select all objects matching your filter criteria. To edit a filter, select it, then select a rule, and click the Edit button below the Rules column. Make a new selection or entry and click Apply. To delete a filter or a rule, select it and click the Delete button below its respective column. 